Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. Well, we have our next guest here. Indeed. Hello. Hello. How, How are, are you doing? You? Welcome. Very good. How are you, gentlemen? Fantastic. Great. Good. Go ahead and introduce yourself for us. Yeah, my name is uh, Nick Harris. I'm the Vice President of Marketing and Sales for a company called WaterGen. All right. And what does WaterGen do? Good question. WaterGen <laughs> simply converts, makes air into water. Okay. So we, we've mastered the technology, if you will, to create atmos- to take atmospheric air, the moisture in the air, and convert it into drinking water. So, so we can now all be evaporation farmers like on Star Wars. Pretty much. It's Incredible. here. Incredible. It's here today. And as someone who's actively looking at buying property out in the middle of the desert of West Texas, things like that, when I saw your technology the other day at Unveiled, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Go into how this technology actively works yeah. for our audience. Yeah. It's, 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 it's almost... Uh, as magical as it as it seems, <laughs> um, and th- this technology, the company was founded in um, Israel, where access to water is obviously a challenge. They were very, they pioneered a lot of um, desalination processes, mm-hmm. and so the next wave of, of um, exploration really is how do we harvest water from the air and and turn it into drinking water that we can all sure. enjoy. Mm. So um, WaterGen has created this technology. They've, they've been able to make it efficient. It basically brings air into a fairly elaborate heat exchanger. Okay. Um, the condensate then goes through a series of filters and uh, converts it into water that you and I would enjoy drinking on a daily basis. Okay. So most of the efforts to date have been uh, with WaterGen have been very humanitarian driven. Okay. Um, our, our mission really is to bring water and give access to water to people that uh, don't enjoy that access on a daily sure, basis. Sure. So we're very fortunate here in uh, North America that uh, we turn on the tap and there's, there's water, water. There's water there. Yeah. Al- although there, there are many places even in the U.S., um, Flint, Michigan being mm-hmm. one of them, where we don't necessarily trust the water that's uh, coming our way. So sure. those are the places that we're looking at is how do we help people you know, who are in need of water? And furthermore, how do we start bringing this technology a little bit more mainstream to yeah. you and I? So when we go into our kitchens or living rooms in the morning, we can basically drink water that came from the air around us. Well, and go ahead. I was going to say, so we've seen, we, you know, we've, we've, like you said, there's, there's been water gen mm-hmm. stuff out there before we've seen a variety of different styles of hardware uh what is involved in yours what is your what does your setup look like yeah so the one that we're really featuring um this year at ces is is really a um home and office appliance okay um really looks like a water cooler for all intents okay. and purposes without the big bottle on top um plug and play or plug and drink as, as we would like to call it and uh, more or less, it's uh, a unit, a pedestal, if you will. Put it in there, turn it on, and you can also um, connect this to a solar array as well. So you're totally, off the, totally off the grid. Yep. But uh, right now, you can just plug it in, and almost immediately, it begins its process of uh, collecting water. So it basically is sucking air, moist air in your home, or any air in your home. It's actually purifying that air at the same time. And it's going through this heat exchanger. Um, that's where the water is collected. And it goes into a reservoir. So, you know, th- this unit can actually create up to 30 liters per day, 8 gallons. Wow. That, that was going to be my next question. Same that, yeah, here. Sorry, so I, I appreciate it. Here. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then it goes into it. It sits in a reservoir. So there's a number of filters in there as well. So we have to okay. actually add minerals to the water to kind of make it taste mm-hmm. good, right? Mm-hmm. So um, there's a mineralizing filter in there, so it's, it's always on. And uh, whenever you want to cook with it, drink with it, um, water gen, this Jenny unit, as we're calling it, is uh, there and um, standing by. And the water tastes great, by the way. It's, it's and, just good-tasting water. And an important part of it. Yes, it is. You know, and I think the, 
you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, the reasons to believe are keep going on. There's the mm -hmm. environmental side of this thing. There's the yeah. safety and the health part of it. There's the idea of being a little bit less dependent on the on the grid. Uh -huh. There's the, you know, single-use plastics. Uh -huh. yep. And for some, uh, being less dependent on the government. It right? is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the... the Sadly, even in the U.S. here, you know, the, infra the water infrastructure is rotting away. I uh -huh. hate to say it, but yeah. there are many cities and towns where uh, those things need, you know, immediate attention. So yeah. this is the, the area that we well, think water gen is going to work. And especially in. the Gulf Coast where we live. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in Florida. I'm in Texas. Hurricane Alley. Yeah. Uh, to be able to have a unit like that that can provide eight gallons a day of yeah. fresh drinking water yeah. via solar. Yeah. Is amazing. Yeah. Whenever you're talking about having no power for a week yeah. it's after a, a hurricane, mm -hmm. yeah. things like that. I mean, I remember growing up, we always filled up the bathtub, and it, yep. it was not yeah. to take a bath. Yeah. Uh, it was to cook with. It yeah, was to absolutely. boil so we had water to drink. Yeah. yeah two, things like two that. Two years ago, I went, my, I went eight days without power after, yeah. after a hurricane in Florida. Yeah, so precisely. I totally it, can appreciate the not idea just of being that. able to. And the idea that, that it's. Yeah, you know, we've we've seen, like we said, we, there's all kinds of styles of this, um, but uh, a lot of them wouldn't be uh, conducive to a renter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Whereas this one could be. Yeah. And and the the powering of it wouldn't necessarily always have to be yeah. solar. Yeah. Maybe sure. if you're in an apartment where you can't put a panel. Yeah. Oh, but the rules go out the window when there's no power, <laughs> and you can take. A panel outside, power yeah. this thing, and continue to have water. You don't have to worry about the bathtub game anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And then even even to that point, on the point of apartment dwellers trying to get that kind of clean water instead of using tap water, mm -hmm. things like that. The the fact that you aren't having to pay for an Ozarka service, something like that, to be bringing you water on the regular, yeah. which uh, which, gets which you is back extraordinarily to inordinately expensive yeah. once you start doing it. Both yeah. both in in financial and in environmental single impact. use plastics, single use plastics. We're going to save a lot of backs too. People dumping yeah. that uh, five same, gallon jug. There. Same thing with people living out in over. the country mm -hmm. that don't necessarily have a proper water table underneath them for digging a well for yes. drinking water. Yeah. They can absolutely yeah. use it to flush the toilet. Use it to bathe. Yeah. But not sit, not necessarily to drink. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. same thing. Yeah, the, the applications are, are endless. One of the um, more interesting things that we're looking at is also how does this look like in terms of um, on the go? So, mm. you know, in an RV, in a, in a boat. Oh, so the sure, absolutely, so for camping. Wow. It's almost perfect. I yeah. mean, you know, there you are. You've got this sort of uh, long term never hunting ending, expedition. Totally never ending supply of water that you don't have to go out and fill up or go to a tap and, someplace. And what Amazing. about what about the industrial side as far as farming, things like that? Are you all looking into looking into that area as well? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the we have a huge unit which would literally fit on the the roof of a building and that can create up to thirteen hundred gallons wow. per day. So I mean you you're wow. starting to get into some bigger volume. Now remember that it's it's still drinking water, so we're looking at this really as potable water but it can be used you know breweries are taking a very distinct I was going to say this, they you know? would absolutely love it yeah. especially distillers yeah. because you've got to as opposed to brewing you've got to have a totally different water quality for distilling mm -hmm. yep. yeah uh, and even going into into that side of it where yep. yeah you know you can it's, the possibilities are literally endless yes, with yeah. the application. It gives me the opportunity to spend more time in a lot of breweries. So uh, <laughs> I don't have a problem with no, that. No, me either. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, so what is the, the availability and the pricing on this? So the pricing for the Jenny unit, the home unit, home uh -huh. office unit, is two thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. Um, so uh, we think that's going to be you know eminently affordable considering what the payback will be. Um, the filters will be available, and there, it's about a six-month interval on the okay. filter changes. Um, they'll be priced around $125. It's a DIY job. You can do it yourself. And availability, um, Q2, we're talking, so June, July. Wow. So we're going to be in market. Yeah, wow. we're, we're really excited about it, and we're looking forward to... Uh, Seeing these uh, across North America. Absolutely. Very, very exciting technology. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. People are going to want to find out more about this. How can they do it? So you can go to our website, www.watergen.com. If you're here at CES, 
stop by our booth, taste the water, and we're at booth number four, 4,146. So uh, come by and see the taste of water, and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you in our uh, booth very shortly. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, gentlemen. Talking Appreciate to it. Us. Thank you. Yeah, that was this good. Is, this is really exciting. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah.